Christus factus es pro nobis. Good Friday, redeemed by love. Judas consummated his betrayal and Jesus is apprehended. This happens after the Lord had accepted in Gethsemane the suffering from the hands of his Father and had given his yes to all that was before him. A yes that had to go through anguish and agony. And yes, after having asked his father that, if possible, that cup might pass without his having to drink it. And yes, that expresses unconditional surrender to the father. And yes, out of love for his man. Now Jesus gives himself without reserve to the suffering he has to endure for our redemption. He faces all the mockery and humiliation, all the offenses, the indifference and cruelty that he will encounter on his painful way. hatred of darkness hangs over him. The dreadful darkness of sin with its terrible consequence, separation from God. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It seems to be the hour of the adversary's triumph. But it's not the hour of the evil. Even if he pretends it is. It is the hour of the Lord. When darkness is conquered once and for all. It is the hour of the Lord's unspeakable love for his Father and for us, his lost creatures. It is the hour when our Heavenly Father offers to all mankind forgiveness of guilt and salvation. It is the hour of the Lord. It is the day of redemption. It is Good Friday. Like a lamb led to the slaughterhouse, the Lord walks that way which we call the way of the cross. Outwardly deprived of all power, but inwardly sustained by his Father to fully accomplish his will. Those who saw him pass by in Jerusalem found themselves face to face with the suffering servant of God. With the Messiah they had been waiting for, although he looked very different from what they would have imagined. Without the honors and clamor befitting a king. On his way to the cross, Jesus meets his mother, who remains faithful at his side. He also meets Veronica, who
who shows her love for him. And the woman of Jerusalem, who is weeping, expresses their compassion for him. These are souls who are not blinded like those who cause him so much pain. And then comes the moment of consummation. Jesus allows himself to be crucified, to bring his mission to its culmination. Lifted up on the cross, he redeems humanity. The cross becomes a sign of our redemption. The Heavenly Father himself offered the sacrifice that Abraham did not have to offer. This is how God loved the world. He gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. In the face of all this, we can only say, We adore thee, O holy God, and we thank thee, for thou hast redeemed us by thy love which led thee to the cross. Glory to thee.